Okay, this will officially be the fourth day in a row of drinking aged urine. And so far, so good. Nothing to complain about, that's for sure. And only things, positive things, that I could only probably speculate on. So, let's just keep showing and proving that I'll be able to do it. Uh, the other bottle that I had was starting to get low, and I'll be literally drinking some of the Ormus sediment at the bottom there. So, what I decided to do is instead open a new bottle which uh, let me just uh, there we go and this was a really tough um, my hands are very strong and I even had a, a trouble getting the lid off so that shows me that this bottle has never been opened before um, maybe I should peel that label off there so it can be seen a little bit better and yeah I could definitely smell the strong ammonia smell coming from it and that's not a bad thing this is, this, though you might most people might think it is not at all it just means that it's very strong and you test this the pH literally is off the charts but so this is the first time it's been opened also just to kind of uh, mention that most you know most people will say when you store aged urine you want to let it breathe from my experience it doesn't really matter and there might even be a chance that airtight could be better i'm not sure just from my experience of using it i have found that it seems to work better and uh, turn out as far as becoming better quality and this is without the label on this is from that fast about 10 months ago 20 day fast you can see there's actually very little sediment at the bottom compared to how much total liquid it is for how long it's been aging. So this is very strong. It's been completely airtight for about 10 months. It turned out excellent. So let me add, let me see how much that is compared to the last few days. That's about almost as much as yesterday, so let's add just a little bit more. Okay. It's hard to pour a small amount out of that bottle, but what we got there is about, yeah, we're getting close to about around 70, about 70 milliliters, so a little bit small increase. Let's add it to, this is, um, oh, almost dropped it there. This is a fresh urine. I actually had about, already drank just uh, within the last uh, 10, 15 minutes, about, about four or five times this amount. This fresh urine is actually, um, it's almost midnight right now. I still haven't eaten all day. I just came back from the run. I have that long workout update um, that I taped just before this. I'm still not hungry. You know, that's just, that's just me though. I've got myself to this point. I was still able to work out at full extent with more energy because I had not eaten all day. Even though I was working out a lot later at around 11 p.m. It is uh, about midnight or so and I am going to eat but I really don't even need to as far as appetite goes or cravings. It's just that's just how it is and I think especially since I drank about a glass and a half of this already. And what I wanted to mention is it actually tastes almost good, if you could believe that. Not kidding. It is just how it turns out. It turns out so much better if your body is clean, if you're not eating so often, and especially if you're fasting. And that's why this turned out so well as well, because this is from when I was in the most perfect you know, physical state that I could have been in as far as my body just being cleared out based on what the fast that I was doing did for my body. And so this is why the product turned out so great. Let's add this and get this going. The other video was really damn long, so I don't want to keep you too much longer here. And um, only watch it if you're really interested in what I'm doing. Otherwise, it's a 30 minute video. And I'm sorry that it took so long. I could just get on rambling like that sometimes, especially when it comes to exercise and running talk and all that kind of stuff. Okay. 
I didn't even need to add that much water, but that has 70 milliliters of that very, very high quality, very strong aged urine. Let's just drink it. Ooh, I definitely noticed the difference. I think because it was, it was capped airtight. Like I mentioned, I had trouble pulling it off and I'm always the person that first volunteers when somebody has you know something that they can't open or whatever my hands through that uh basketball exercise I do are unusually strong my hands did not used to be strong thanks to this exercise though with the basketball and I've expanded upon it as I've progressed and seen all the improvements and strength and everything making it that much harder doing a lot longer um durations of the of what I do with it my hands and fingers and wrists and strength is very, very strong. I can make a fist a lot tighter. I can unscrew just about anything. And yeah, it's just basically having strong hands. My point being though, that this was very, very tough to get off. So it's airtight as it could be. Still turned out excellent. Just to show you people, it does not have to breathe though there are arguments about that and you know i'm not i'm not totally saying that the other way is not good i think just either way it doesn't really matter so thanks for watching more to come